All right, how's it going everyone? So I spent a day trying to build my first real like software as a service and I was scrolling through Twitter and I saw someone build a very similar icon generator where they basically use AI to generate icons based on some like select criteria that you have. So I figured, hey, why not just challenge myself? How hard can this be to do? Um, they did it in a couple of days. I kind of set my time frame to one day. How much can I build out in one day of work? And this is what I have. So basically, we have a Next.js application. It's using Next Auth for social sign-in. So if I go over here and click sign in, I can sign in with my Gmail account. Now I haven't added the magic link email sign in. I, I plan to do that soon. But once you sign in, you have an account and your account has credits that you attach to the user model in your database. So by default, you start off with zero credits and you have to buy credits. So I also have this thing hooked up to Stripe where you can click on buy credits. That'll redirect you to a Stripe page. They, you can pay $5 to get 50 credits. And once you pay, I get a webhook event back from Stripe where I basically update your user model. I increment your credits by a certain amount. And then you can use those credits to generate some icons. So over here is the actual like main page where you can type in a prompt. So in our case, I will type in like uh, a happy panda or something. You can select the color for the overall scheme of your icon. So in this case, I'll say pink. And then you can select the style. In our case, I'm gonna go ahead and just do polygon and see how that looks. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do circular. And let's just go ahead and create two images. And when I click this button, this is actually gonna hit my next API. And that does a request to the open AI API over here. So you can see I have some usage going on. And every time that I try to generate an image, they charge me about 0.2, uh, they charge me two cents, right? So if I were to do this request, with two images, I'll get charged about four cents. Let's just go ahead and click generate icons. And that'll take a little bit of time to kind of set up those icons and generate them. Also behind the scenes, I'm saving these all to S3. I'm associating the icons that you have generated to your user model. And when they're done, you can see them over here. And I can go ahead and download them if I want to. Go ahead and take a peek at those. And this is what the icons look like. They're very uh, interesting looking to say the least. Here we go. So that's pretty cool. So what's what's going on behind the scenes? Like how's this all set up? Again, I'm deploying everything to Amazon. So my next JS application is deployed using Amazon Amplify, which is a pretty cool uh, system where you can basically just take your Git repo and you point Amplify to it and it's gonna automatically build it and deploy it. So that is this one right here, the icon generator. And then also, if I move my head up here, we have a bucket where every time you generate some icons, it puts those icons into a bucket. So let's just go ahead and look at the latest icons and make sure we can view those by clicking the link. And there you have it. I can see all the icons that my users generated. And then I also have all of the data stored into a planet scale database. So you can see here as I'm generating icons and as users sign up, I store that information in my planet scale tables. And I don't know if there's a way to like query the tables through here. I think I have to use an actual like but behind the scenes, I have a way to basically link all of the generated icons to the users who generate them. And I do plan to maybe add some more functionality and features here in the future where if you've generated icons, you can go to like a, a previous collection and view the ones that you generated. So again, this is like the first software as a service I've ever tried to build. And again, this isn't like a unique idea. I basically saw an idea that was being done on Twitter. Someone is getting a lot of traffic by doing this thing. And behind the scenes, like you could do all this for free. Just go set up an open AI account, go to Dolly, and then you can actually like type in prompts yourself to get images and icons generated. So you can do all this for free. They have like a, a free amount of usage you can use um, when you sign up. But again, I'm just adding like a nice user interface on top of all that so you don't have to go and mess with their Dolly UI. So what are the next steps of this? Well, if this actually brings in any type of money, I might actually keep on adding features to it. I might buy a real new, unique domain for it and get it published and deployed out there. And then maybe work on search engine optimization and actually get this stuff like showing up uh, and marketing it on my channel and stuff like that. Um, for anyone who's watching my channel or has been a long-term subscriber to my channel, I just wanna say this is the first like paid application I have ever produced for a side project. And if you want to just give thanks in any way whatsoever, just go ahead and sign in and buy some credits, play around with this little application, and give me some feedback, let me know how it works. Um, I would really much appreciate that and just kind of treat it as like a donation to my channel. If anything I've ever produced on my channel has helped you land a job or helped you land an internship, 
it would definitely mean a lot to me, especially since like this is the first SaaS I've ever actually tried to go live with. Um, it would be cool just to see real people like paying via Stripe to get functionality and making their icons. Just remember to download your icons because right now I am storing them on S3, but like there's no way to like see your historic icons. Uh, so I need to add that feature in. But as far as how this all works, again, we got to all deploy the Amplify. We got the database over here on planet scale. We got the S3 bucket that holds all these icons. And it's basically a pretty seamless deploy. All I need to do is push my changes to my Git repo and this automatically deploys out. You know, let's just go ahead and do some more right now. I'll try the same thing, but with metallic and I'll say squared. And let's just change it to purple and see what happens. You know, actually I'm going to do blue. I'm going to generate two more icons and let's see what happens over here. Now, one thing I will point out is that the icons they generate are actually pretty big. They're like three megabytes for some reason. So I need to figure out why they're so large. But cool, we got a nice little icon over here. We got a nice little panda. Um, and again, all these icons are generated from Dolly. So like in terms of copyright and ownership, you'd have to go and like learn about the AI <laughs> laws in your country or state. Like I would probably use these for inspiration and not like blatantly copy them for your your business icons because I don't know how that works legally. Let me know in the comments if you want me to generate some type of course where I walk you through this code and maybe give you the code for a small fee. Um, I know people who've been watching my channel are probably getting turned off by the idea of me monetizing my my teachings. But at the same time, like it takes a lot of time and effort to figure out all this stuff. Like how to deploy this to Amplify, how to deploy this to S3, how to get this set up with Stripe, how to set up Planet Scale, how to tie all these things together to make one cohesive application. Um, and that knowledge like comes with a lot of time and experience. So I think it is worth uh, paying a small amount of money to see how someone builds up in a real application using all these things. But let me know in the comments if you would be interested in like signing up for a course that does that in the future. Other than that, that's all I really wanted to share with you all. Be sure to check out the link I'll put it in the description. And if you're feeling generous, just go ahead and buy like some credits. Try it out and give me some feedback if you thought this was cool or not. Have a good day and happy coding.